Hey Jim, this is Don. This is just a quickie to show you how to solve this uh, problem in StatCrunch. Um, those equations always kind of look kind of complex, but the easy way to do it, we're going to open it in StatCrunch. Okay, we have the data there of the four, 13 patients uh, sleep before, sleep after using the drug. We're just going to real quickly, we're going to go to T-Stats, paired sample. I'm going to select column one, sleep before, sleep with the drug. Uh, I want to save the differences because I'll show you a trick in a second. We want the confidence interval this time, and that's just 0.9. I think that's what they wanted was the 90% right. Just click compute and there we get the answer. The lower limit minus 1.99, upper limit minus 1.38. Let's see. Yeah, that's the answers they have there. The other thing I wanted to, um, to show you, you remember in some problems we're given the, uh, we're asked for the intermediate values, which are hard to get in uh, stat crunch sometimes, but if you need the 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 d bar or the uh, uh, s sub d, d bar remember is just the mean of the differences, and that's the reason when I uh, did this, I clicked on save the differences, and that developed that column there. So the d bar is just the mean of those values. S sub D is the standard deviation of those values, and we can get those pretty quickly by going to Summary Stats column, and I'm going to select the differences. I'm going to hold down the Control key and select Mean and Standard Deviation. Whoops, it's taking them off. There you go, Mean, Standard Deviation, click Compute, and there's my uh, D bar right there, the mean of these differences, and the S sub D, the standard deviation of those differences. So I hope that helps.